Well, hey everybody, it's Sandy. Welcome back to my channel. And yeah, I don't feel like doing the slogan, okay? Um, so I'm just checking in. Today is day five, so I will complete day five sometime late tonight or early tomorrow morning. I kind of um, started my symptoms on late Saturday night, like the wee hours of the morning or very, very late at night. So um, I am probably feeling about the same as yesterday, I guess, all things being equal. So in one way, I'm better, which is that I'm coughing less. And when I do cough, it's not quite so hard and dry and painful in there. Um, but on the other hand, I'm a lot more tired today. I feel the fatigue setting in. And I remember that was the case the last time the fatigue set in, you know, maybe several days into the acute respiratory part of it. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised at that. I just was disappointed when I woke up this morning and I wasn't feeling better yet. Like I expected the trajectory to continue at exactly, you know, the same increments. Like um, yesterday I woke up feeling so much better than the day before. Uh, I don't think I could have expected that much improvement today um, because that would be like, probably too improved for, you know, this illness at this point. So I just took a big jump yesterday and, you know, today roughly the same, uh, better on the cough, um, but definitely some fatigue. I actually took a nap today, which I had not done the day before. Um, it's also a little more gloomy out and I kind of woke up like, I don't know, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm just sort of sad in this isolation now and it, I'm starting to get bored and I'm, you know, it's just a little depressing to just be sitting around grounded. Um, and I also feel so badly that my bereaved husband who lost his dad just two weeks ago today, uh, we're not able to be together. You know, we're isolated on opposite sides of the house. Now we do cross paths. Sometimes we'll talk in the kitchen or something, both wearing respirators. Um, I would sit outside a little bit with him, but the hours that he frees up to do that, it's like a little too cold for me. And I, don't, I just don't want to get really chilled or anything. Um, but we did sit outside for a little bit yesterday. So, you know, that's kind of gotten me down too. And then I did something that was kind of dumb. I decided I was going to test. I don't know why, because it's a waste of a test. I just thought, well, if it comes up negative, it's probably a good indication that I'm going to get a negative, like late tonight or early tomorrow morning, the first time I'm actually allowed to start testing for the purpose of unmasking sooner than 10 days. And I thought that would be just an encouraging thing since I was feeling kind of blue. And of course, it showed up positive, um, which, you know, is totally to be expected. I don't think most people are negative yet at this stage. I'm not even completed day five. Um, so that was just a bit of a bummer, too. I don't think I will recheck today, um, but I, I'm not sure if I'll recheck in the morning. It wasn't a really, really faint line where I could barely see it and I was wondering about it. I mean, it was clearly light pink. On the other hand, I remember last time that... Uh, one day light pink and another day gone was, you know, I, th I, th I think it kind of does work like that. So yeah, I'll probably check tomorrow at some point. I guess I'm in a hurry to get that clock ticking to where I can get two consecutive negative tests and be able to be together with my husband. Um, that would be great because otherwise we really have to stay separated for the 10 days. Like you're allowed to leave isolation, but you're supposed to wear a mask. So for all intents and purposes with your family members and the people you live with, you know, um, you're essentially still isolated from them. Um, you know, it's okay to sit around and talk together wearing respirators, but not for very long. And it just feels weird with my stuffiness. I don't really like it that much anyway. So, um, yeah, I would have liked to see a negative, but it, uh, you know, that was too much to ask. Um, the other thing is I felt like a little wave of nausea a couple of times come over me, but it left pretty quickly. So I don't know what that was. And it's one of those things that if I had had that on another time when I didn't have COVID, I wouldn't think anything of it. So I don't know if it's related or not. Um, I did figure out that the GI distress I was having was probably related to the guaifenesin, the expectorant. That's the active ingredient in mucinex and robitussin. <coughs> I started taking the liquid robitussin a couple of days ago. So when I started developing the diarrhea, I stopped that. Um, watch, now I'm going to have a coughing fit. <coughs> when I just said my cough is so much better, but sometimes talking or once it starts up. Um, anyway, so I, I stopped using it and I kind of wanted to figure out whether it was the disease or the Paxlovid. And I concluded it was pro more likely the disease because I continued on with the Paxlovid and the, and the diarrhea got better. So then I decided today, well, let me reintroduce the Robitussin. You know, it wouldn't be pleasant if it happens, but at least I'll know then. Um, and sure enough, it started up again. And so I'm not going to be taking the Robitussin anymore. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad it was that really and not the Paxlovid because sometimes when 
it's like a medication. It gets worse and worse and, you know, whatever. And I'm glad it's, if it's the disease, <coughs> that it seems to be, that part seems to be passed. So, you know, anyway, I'm coughing more now on video than I was on any of the previous days, but I'm coughing a whole lot less all day long. And I woke up, you know, with a lot less coughing, didn't really cough through the night. So I think it just kind of got started. And sometimes that's what happens. It just gets started and it's like a switch is flipped and it just gets irritated. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to sound like this for a while. You know, that hasn't changed. I, I don't expect that to change in the next day or two or three or four or five or maybe a week. Um, I'd love it to change after that. Um, yeah, but I put, a. A picture in the Facebook group last night showing you guys I did get my appetite back. So uh, yesterday I asked my husband to go out and get some salmon. I don't know if I had some protein cravings or um, I just really wanted some salmon. And I figure salmon's really good and anti-inflammatory. So um, yeah, he went out and got that. I, I was able to make it. I put it together and um, it's just a sheet pan meal. So it really, if I had to do more than that, it would probably take a lot out of me, especially today. But um, yeah, he cleans up. So fortunately you know, it, it works out well. And unfortunately, we're not able to eat together, which would be nice. But so good was that, that I asked him to go do the same thing today. And he did, he had time. So we're going to have some salmon again in a little while. Um, and, you know, the only other thing is, I guess I started to feel a little blue today. And I wonder if that's also kind of intermingling with my assessment of how I'm doing, because I, I think I was just starting to get kind of you know, a little cabin fever. I have nothing to complain about. We have a house that's a split plan. So I have one end of it and he has the other end of it. And I have our master bedroom. And there's another bedroom on this end that has its own bathroom. And it, this house was built like with two masters, but that's a gym. So I have I have this in the gym and I have been doing yoga in the mornings. And I have a TV in there for video DVDs and things like that. Um, I don't have anything to complain about, but it's still, you know, going back to being isolated. It's just not good. And I wish my husband wasn't so isolated from me right now. And I think it's a little gray out today. So maybe that's mingling a little bit, but I, I just felt a little down. Um, I made myself do some yoga and some meditation. Those were each 20 minutes. And, and then I did some very light exercise with some bands. I just wanted to force myself to do some things that were just movement. And I went around the block for a walk. And so I think those were all good things to do. I certainly don't want to be just laying around and too sedentary and get a pneumonia or something, but I don't want to do so much that I'm just completely fatigued. So I'm trying to, you know, stay busy and stay positive and, you know, watching TV and reading things and trying not to worry about things that becomes like an obsessive thing. And I, I'm trying not to let my head go there. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. I've got four more doses of Paxlovid. So I'll take one more today and then I'll take two on Friday and one on Saturday morning. Cause I started my Paxlovid at night, not in the morning. Um, and I'll let you guys know when I decide to test again and I'll keep my fingers crossed for turning negative soon. Okay. And more importantly, for no long COVID and no rebound. All right. So until next time, be well.